We are going to end the EPA intrusion into your lives. I will also cancel all wasteful climate change spending. It's comments like those from the president-elect that have sparked this. Science and research is under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Scientists and researchers taking to the streets, not a group known for protesting. They're now at the forefront of a nationwide race to retrieve and save massive amounts of climate change data from government websites. They fear years of research that cannot be recreated will become less accessible or worse. Stop, stop. Under a Trump administration. There's a lot of critical information that the government collects. Some of it is the health of our river. Some of it relates to how much the seas are rising. And without that information, we're making decisions in a vacuum. There is no evidence that, uh, that the Trump administration plans to deep six any of this data or hide it. If they're worried about this, it's probably because they know that that's how the Obama administration acted. But this trifecta of cabinet appointments has raised concerns. Scott Pruitt tapped to head the EPA, an agency he sued multiple times as Oklahoma's attorney general. ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson tapped for Secretary of State. Rick Perry, former governor of oil-rich Texas, picked to run the Energy Department all staunch fossil fuel supporters who have expressed doubts about the urgency of climate change. Another concern, attorney David Schneer. The questions that we have tonight are not, is there global warming? The question is, how certain are we of it? As part of the Trump transition team, he's helping to staff up the EPA. Schneer works for a nonprofit that sued the EPA, NASA, and universities that have done work on climate change. Scientists are very ready to push back against any types of politicization of science. But there are federal laws against deleting certain data. Critics say the movement screams of paranoia. Sometimes data is very hard to retrieve from the government after a period of years goes by. That does not indicate, though, any uh, ill intent. It's just a matter of the churn of business in Washington. Scientists I spoke to said beyond the concern that the data will be less accessible, the larger fear is that the data won't be collected at all and without it, tracking trends and mitigating climate change would be nearly impossible. We did speak out, reach out, I should say, to the Trump uh, transition team. We have not received a comment on this just as yet. Renee Mars, thank you so much.